Hey guys, how's everybody doing this morning? Here in the state of Texas, we're having some stormy weather. I thought it'd be great to go out to the Battleship Texas, see if I can't get uh, just a little, a little bit of a different look. You can hear my dogs inside there. Uh, they can hear my voice. They want me to stay home. As you can see, it's raining. There's lightning. Let's get out to the Texas and see what she looks like in no storm, but rain. Hopefully, by the time we get there, this weather will be a storm. Got my waterproof duster, so I'm ready to get into it if we need to. Let's head out that way. All right, we're headed out that way. It's pretty windy, lightning. Moderately heavy rain, and yes, I'm not in the Jeep. Jeep's in need of a clutch right now. And it's a shame, because I really love driving the Jeep in this kind of weather. Even though it's an open Jeep, I just put on my duster and I go. It's a lot of fun. Get home wet, dry off, take a shower, ain't gonna hurt you. Pretty good rain. Got all the gas I need. Got everything I need. Stop by McDonald's, get some breakfast, and hit the road. I hope it stays this uh, windy and this rainy until we get there. So I'd love to get out in this kind of weather and film the battleship. I think it's going to give it an entirely different look. Anybody that knows how I can get this glare off my glasses, leave me something down in the daggum comments because I've tried everything I know how to do. Of course, I haven't looked on the internet for any suggestions, but I'm sure out of all you folks, somebody knows what I can do. We are on our way. We'll be there in just a few minutes. For you, anyway. For me, it's about 30 minutes. And it looks like the rain has stopped for right now. But these little patches of storms have been on and off all day yesterday and all day today. So hopefully it'll be raining when we get to the ship. Now look at this guy in front of me here. Has the nerve to be out in his Jeep when I can't be driving mine. That just ain't right. Well, it has stopped raining. We are at the ship, as you can see. I was hoping we'd get here with some rain still in the air. A lot of it. Stormy, lightning, windy rain. Because I really wanted to walk around in it and film the battleship in that kind of weather. As you can see by radar here, we are at the blue pin. And right now, anyway, all the weather is south of us. It's been coming and going in very strong little storms. So uh, I'm going to be here for about an hour, maybe two, because I'm still going to walk around the ship, see what, if anything, I can find. And uh, there's a lot of flooded areas uh, from the rain that has been here. But anyway, let's get out of this car and see what's up out there. It's been raining quite a lot. Dry land has become a lake. Wow, pretty sizable one. All right, let's go check out the ship. Hawk overhead. As you can see, there's still rain and storm in the air. A lot of it. Hope it's coming this way. But according to the radar, 
it's just kind of sitting there. Although it's getting windier. And those clouds are uh, straight up above me. They're going the other way, so I'm going to leave the duster in the car and hope I don't get caught in it. No fishermen today. Part of the grass has just been mowed, but it looks like they were mowing when it was muddy, so they probably quit. That cloud right there kind of looks cartoonish. Like something, well, not that cloud, but that gathering of clouds in the, in the blue sky. Looks like something out of a Simpson cartoon. Check out this weather behind us. virtually all around us, with the exception of right here behind the ship, which that's kind of a beautiful shot right there. I'm going to get on the other side of it, or at the uh, rear of the ship, get some pictures of the ship with the black sky behind it. We've got one sump pump running. Hear some things going on aboard the ship, some metal being moved around. There's always a lot of discussion in the comments about how high or how high she's sitting in the water. And there's also questions whether she's floating or not. So here's what I'm going to do. Right now it's low tide here. And she's sitting at about the four. I've taken a couple still photos of that. Someday I'll come out here at high tide, take a photo. The tide change here is, according to my app, anywhere between 1.8 feet and two feet. So if she's sitting on the bottom, during high tide and the number rises up to five or even six feet we'll know she's sitting on the bottom however if I come out here during high tide we can add a foot and a half at least to the surface of the water and if she's still at the four we know she's floating so I'll come back out here to high tide see how it's sitting. You can see the difference in the tidal change here. However, there is no marking on the ship. 
of any tidal change. That tells me she's floating. But we'll find out at high tide for sure. Not today, but another day. Well, rather disappointing for me. I was really hoping for stormy weather. But she sure looks great in front of that blue sky, doesn't she? And yep, that's still there. Still not moving. But there. The white monument. The monument also kind of looks pretty cool in front of that dark background. All oh, that's from rain. In a day or two, there's going to be enough mosquitoes out here to kill a person. They'll find that body on the ground and swear the chupacabra has been here. Won't be my body though. Too fat, too heavy, too old. I don't even taste good anymore. Them skeeters ain't gonna bother me none. Besides, I'm a, I'm a Texan. They only go for you non-Texans. Well, once again, not exactly the video I wanted, but we did get to see the Texas, so. That's always a good day. Check you guys later. It's been a Jeep, a drone, and an old man. Be seeing you next time. <laughs>